At the Utah Olympic Oval in December, one speed skater showed why she leads the World Cup standings in the 500 meters. American Erin Jackson added a win to the three others she's earned this season. I think just kind of uh, relaxing and, and doing what I know how to do, you know, and just letting the training kind of show itself during the race. Yeah, so just turning everything off and, and going for it. 29-year-old Jackson from Ocala, Florida, first achieved success as an inline skater when she was a teenager. She turned to roller derby and then ice skating, becoming the first black woman to make the Olympic long track team in 2018. It was not an easy transition. Ice speed skating, they sit a lot deeper. You create a, lot, a, a much higher level of lactic acid, and the pressure on the legs are so significant. It's like lifting heavy weights every stroke. Her coach, Ryan Shimabukuru, says speed skating requires different technique and a higher level of conditioning. It's a sport in which fractions of a second count and the slightest glitch can cost you a race. It's so close, it's so tight. That's a, an arm swing that goes wrong. That's a small slip off the start. That's why it's called a race of truth, right? The clock doesn't lie. As Jackson found out the hard way on January 7th, when this one stumble during the 500 meter Olympic trials left her in third place and off the U.S. Olympic team. After a season that I've been really proud of, it was, it was really devastating. I didn't sleep that night, just kind of like couldn't turn my brain off, you know, so it was really stressful. And then fellow skater Brittany Bow, who won this race as well as two others, opted to give her spot in the 500 to Jackson. I mean, in my heart, there was never a question that I would do whatever it took if it, you know, came down to me to get Aaron to skate the Olympics. The two have been close friends for years. Just like really overwhelming emotions, you know, like Brittany and I go, go really far back. And I mean, just for her to do something like this for me, it's, it's amazing. I'm just incredibly grateful. It's hard to believe, but it was nearly two decades ago when short track specialist Apollo Anton Ono struck gold with U.S. skating fans at the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City. Two decades later, with one selfless gesture, a pair of long track athletes want to show that country comes before self when it comes to the Olympics. As athletes, we never know what tomorrow will bring. And Erin is, you know, absolutely on the top of her game now. And, you know, she may or may not get another opportunity four years from now. You know, like it's not it, it's not promised. You know, I was kind of given this gift from a very close friend of mine. And it would be awesome for both of us to be able to stand on the top of the podium in our races and just kind of share that moment. Draped in gold, they both hope in Beijing. And Rick Sabrandi, CGTN. Kearns, Utah.